All right, guys, virtual war Rome. What did ancient Rome, Rome look like? Emmanuel Bravo. The city of Rome is located to the side of the Tiber. I've got a good, like, Google Earth, like, zoom in. Nice, nice. River, 20,000 steps away from the sea. The river easily crosses this place. And I know Rome now. <laughs> That's what Rome was. And its nearby hills can easily be walled. The ancient Roman wall used to embrace seven hills. Rome was founded in the year 753 before. Well, what is that? Is that a dog? The dog is feeding kids. Oh my gosh. I cannot unsee that Poor image. Christ. <laughs> it's an interesting art depiction to say the least. The Roman Forum. Whoa, like cool 3D visuals. Oh, it's On the Capitoline Hill, the most sacred of the I wonder if this was constructed by the video creator or it's like Google Earth, guys. Oh, there are many sacred buildings, of which the most famous is the Temple of Jupiter. Oh, how did they make that back then, bro? <laughs> I guess they built like some wooden structures. They, they had no power tools, guys. Look at it. It's, it's beautiful, though, man. Sheesh. They better pay pay good to to build that. You know what I mean? The no and they got some nice trees. Probably got birds and stuff. Like that same kind of tree where I live, guys. The facing part of the hill that is firmly walled is called the Arcs. On top of the Arcs, the, Arcs. the Temple of Juno Moneta is situated. Man, we never see that kind of building structure where I, ever again, guys. Uh, guys, would you live in a stone house? It'd be so expensive to live in a, like a stone house. But it'd be cool. Uh, how do you do? It, it'd be so hard to do maintenance on it, right, guys? It's it. Where coins... Man, I'm not a fan of stone houses. ...are made out of precious metal. Seems dangerous and, like, you know... At the foot of the hill, there's the Tabularium, which is a huge building where mail and public letters are kept. Under the Capitoline and Palatine Hills is the Roman Forum. And just look at all of it, bro. In that valley, there was once a big lake that was tried. Reminds me of like Assassin's Creed or something, right, guys? <laughs> Up after the water was diverted to the river through an underground sewer called Cloaca Maxima. All right, all right. They got a sewer systems and stuff, man. They're one of one of more modern kind of civilization things, right, guys? Large number of people came every day to the Roman Forum. Bro, is this a message board now? <laughs> I'm kidding. It was the most busy and crowded place in the city. Surrounded by many public and sacred buildings. This is the Basilica Emilia, which together with the Basilica Julia is the largest public building in the Forum. The yeah, bro, I wonder what they did at that Basilicas building. Basilicas used to occupy a better place in the fora of the Roman cities. In ancient times, the Basilica was a public building where many businesses and courts of law were conducted. That's what I was thinking, guys. Bro, just chilling right there. Don't be, don't be chilling right there in a court of law, right, guys? <laughs> I don't think you're allowed to sit like that in court, are you? Maybe if it's super crowded. Later, Christians took advantage of the basilical form to use it as a religious site for the celebration of liturgy. Guys, what the heck is liturgy, bro? Liturgy, you guys. I have no clue what that is. Centuries later, when the empire became officially Christian, the term was also used to refer to large or important churches. In this sense, the denomination is used today both from an architectural and a religious point of view. Let's go, let's go. Next to the Basilica Emilia, in the part of the forum called Comitium, the Curia is located. The Curia is the building where the Roman Senate meets. The Senate consists of 600 senators. Well, that's a 
It's more than like the UN has, bro. We got like 33, like, oh my gosh, bro. More than Congress, everything. 600. Very noble sits. They should make a, they should make a movie about it. That'd be cool. I would totally watch it. it might do good about, just call it 600. You know what I mean? It'd be like 300. You know, I think, I think I got a good, I got good ideas for, uh, for movies, man. To sense who before. Make it like a drama or something, or even a comedy, guys. I think it would be awesome. Forces' time had the highest power in the Roman Republic. Before the Comitium, there's... The dog is straight up walking, but he ain't moving. ...high place where orators spoke to people. The name of this... Now, this is where the presidential, uh, you know... <laughs> it's not that different from when, when, like, you know, the president talks, you know Places, what I mean? Places, Rustra, because seawalls of captured ships were adorned in the front. Rustra in Latin is the plural of rustrum, that is the iron part that protrudes from the bow of the ships, and that was used to attack enemy ships. No way, they got, like, water, that's so cool, they got, like, a lake right there, bro. That's such a cool thing, bro. Never see that now. Many maybe. illustrious orators, such as Cicero, ascended occasionally, but that is freaking awesome. To man. the rostra to give a speech to the people. Of the Roman temples, the smallest was certainly the Temple of Janus. He was also the oldest one. This temple has two doors that are always open, and are only closed when throughout the whole empire, the land and the sea are at peace. And when is that, guys? <laughs> Th those doors look fairly like you know you need you need a, a good amount of force to close those doors, in my opinion. That's what it looks like. These doors were only closed twice from the age of Romulus until the Augustus regime. Augustus closed it for the third time in 700 years after he defeated Marcus Antonius in the Battle of Actium. Nice, nice. Uh, I guess they're at a state of unrest at this current. point moment guys imagine there's like a, a stairway to the roof that'd be scary man if you fell off that, that's totally impractical and dangerous but it, it's so cool how they got like uh, statues up there man and the other side of the forum is the temple of vesta which had a round sh vesta like rune old school runescape vesta no way hey, vesta is the goddess of fire and of home in whose temple an eternal fire burns. Six Vestal virgins, daughters of illustrious Romans, were chosen to make sure that the fire was never extinguished, for the fire always burning meant Rome, eternal city. Bro, well, there's probably a ton of ashes on the roof of that then, right? It was that currency? What was that? That looks cool. Next to the temple of Vesta is the Regia, House of the Maximum Pontiff, house where the Roman kings once lived. The Maximum Pontiff is the prefect of all other Roman priests. The job of the Roman priests was to sacrifice animals to the gods and take care of the divine things. Same, bro. Nowadays, if you sacrifice animals, you're called like a freaking cultist or something, bro. You know what I mean? Sacrificing. Ugh, that's scary. In front of the Regia is... I don't want to see it, man. Animals bleed and stuff. It's, it's a temple dedicated to Gaius Julius Caesar, which is called the Temple of the Divine Julius. Caesar, like some Roman emperors, was turned into a god after his death, and he was called divine. Oh, snap. Definitely medieval. Is this medieval times? Or is it like Renaissance? I don't know. The Temple of the Divine Julius was built by his nephew Augustus, in the same place where his body was cremated by the mourning citizens. On either side of the Basilica Julia, there is a large temple. To the right, under the Capitoline, the Temple of Saturn, and to the left, the Temple of Castor and Pollux. The Temple of Saturn is a treasure. I just want to see how the residential homes looked, guys. You know what I mean? Tree, the place where public money is preserved. This and they got banks as well? Oh, Rome. Rome doing it right here. Rome. Ancient temple was destroyed in a fire and rebuilt. That's Dang, bro. All their currency burned or something, unless it was like metal. But even metal would be like, you know, 
<laughs> They'd have like fire stains and Temple stuff. Temple of Castor and Pollux is dedicated to the gods Castor and Pollux, twin sons of Jupiter whom the Romans asked for. I, I think they would be dedicated to them. You know what I mean? Know what Blow I mean? up in battles. Between this temple and the Temple of the Divine Julius, the Senate and the people of Rome built a marble arch to the victorious Augustus after the Battle of Actium. That's awesome, like a design technology they had, bro. I wonder, I wonder who's like the, you know, jeez, bro, just check it out, bro. And Looks better than, um, better than like, you know, some modern cities nowadays. I mean, it's not practical, but you know, imagine we rebuild this. That'd be crazy. Front cool. of the Tabularium are the temples of Concord and of the Divine Vespasian. The Temple of Concord was built after a long discord between two enemy factions into which the Roman people had been divided the Patricians and the Plebeians. The temple was built when Concord. Plebeians? Is that like. <laughs> That's like an internet uh, insult nowadays. Oh, the shortened ver version of Between it. Between all the citizens was finally restored. Near this temple is the jail, whose dark, stinking underground part is called Tolianus. The Arch of Septimius Severus at the northwest of the Forum was built to commemorate the victories of Emperor Septimius Severus and his two sons, Kakala and Geta in the two campaigns against the Parthians. The Miliarium Marium was a monument erected by the Emperor Caesar Augustus. Well, it's like it's made out of brass or something. That looks super cool. It's near the Temple of Saturn. All roads throughout the Empire were considered to begin at this monument, and all distances in the Empire were measured relative to it. The Temple of the Divine Vespasian was constructed by his sons, Titus and Domitian, after the death of their father. Right next to this temple are the porticos of the Twelve Gods and Goddesses. I wonder if there's like graffiti or, or <laughs> back then, guys. That'd be cool to see Roman graffiti, but uh, maybe, maybe not, guys. We gotta, we gotta learn more about Rome. Where a golden statue of each god is found inside. Golden, like pure gold? Oh, snap, bro. No In way. Each portico. Now you might be wondering how can we possibly know that a place like this used to look. Oh, it looks wow, that's cool. Like that. If there's so. I mean, it kind of looks like it. You know what I mean? Look, look, look. It's not even that bad. That much off, guys. Used to look like that. If there's only foundations left and maybe a few columns. These remains help us identify the scale and the size of the buildings. Additionally, there's a handful of buildings that have stood the test of time, as well as images of the buildings printed in ancient coins. But the most important okay, okay. thing are the books written by Vitruvius. In Rome, there's a lot of public buildings. It's a term for like somebody that pays attention to, to this stuff. Ar architect? I think, I think that's what it's called, guys. Today we explore the ones that surrender the most important part of the city. If you wish to watch the second part of this video where we explore different typologies of buildings, such as these, then like this video and subscribe to support the channel. Thank you, and goodbye. Alright, guys. Cool video, my friend. What ancient city do you want to see me explain next? Ancient Rome looks far more fascinating than many current cities. Having visited ancient Rome a couple thousand years ago, I can confirm this video is pretty spot on. Hey, that's impossible unless you're a time traveler. Having been to Rome a couple times, you see these impressive ancient ruins. Yes, it, yeah, it's sometimes difficult to envision how it all looked back in the day, especially the Forum. I can't believe they called it the Forum, guys. It's crazy to see how the Empire looked so beautiful back then. Ancient humans were amazing. Let us see more of the ancient Jerusalem, Babylon, etc. This is the most viewed video that I can see. But yeah, very cool. Uh, check out the video creator description. And I'll see you guys next one. Also, uh, I do all my reactions live on Twitch, so please consider donating all that stuff later, guys. Ancient Rome. How, how, did, how, how it looked like before.